It's all happened to us before. We're doing really well and then the game freezes and we die to the absolute definition of a bot. That is why today I'm going to go over three different ways to stop FPS drops from happening. None of these settings can mess up your computer since they don't change anything major so you do not have to worry about that. Quick tip, if you do all three of these but still have FPS drops, at the end of the video I will have a bonus tip that will work for 99% of you. Hoppy into the first one however, this is going to be to turn off any apps that automatically start up when you first turn on your PC. To do this, go into the bottom left of your Windows home screen and click on the Windows icon that is there. Then click the gear icon that is right above there and then click on apps. After this you want to scroll down until you see the startup at the very bottom. Click it and then turn off anything that you don't want to start up when you first turn on your PC. To get rid of the most FPS drops, turn everything off, but if you want to leave some stuff on, for example Discord, Epic Games Launcher, stuff like that, then you can. For the second way to reduce FPS drops, this is going to be to turn off programs running in the background. To turn these off, go into your settings again, but this time click privacy instead of apps. After this, scroll down until you see background apps towards the bottom left. Click on it, and then you can turn off different apps individually, or you can set it so no apps can run in the background. Set it so that no apps can run in the background to reduce the most stutters and the most FPS drops, but if you do want to leave stuff on, then you can. For the third way, this is going to be to lower your 3D resolution in Fortnite to 87%. What this does is make your game look not quite as clear, but it is hardly noticeable and it gives you a really big FPS boost, it reduces stutters, and it lowers your input delay. So I would definitely recommend doing that and it really doesn't do any downsides. Now for the bonus tip, and I actually have two of them and they will work for pretty much everyone, and these are going to be to play on performance mode since performance mode gives you a lot more FPS and way less FPS drops, and it will pretty much work for everyone. This will solve it for like 99% of you. Then the second bonus tip is going to be if performance mode doesn't work for you, I would just wait two weeks and it will probably go away on its own. Make sure to subscribe if this video helped you out, and peace.